Um, my name is Diane Keo. I want to welcome you um, to the I2B2 uh, Transmart Foundation meeting. Um, this is, I think we have a, a pretty exciting agenda today. Um, it is fairly packed, so we're going to be, um, I'm going to be the timekeeper. I'm the executive director slash timekeeper for this um, uh, meeting. First, I want to thank our sponsors um, for um, helping us with this uh, present, uh, this, this uh, conference. Many of them will be um, giving you a little bit of a commercial break throughout the day. So how many of you were here last year? Yeah, wow, most of, who wasn't here last year? Uh, wow, that is fantastic, that is fantastic. Um, last year we announced the merger of I2B2 and Transmart, so we're, we're uh, one year old, um, probably around now. Um, we've been really focusing on building the community, um, keeping you know, the community up to date on what's going on. Um, if, you, if you're not joining our monthly uh, community calls or you're not participating in our, our uh, training programs, um, please do um, go to our website and check it out. We've added um, I2B2 training to our, um, our program. Um, we also, how many members do we have in the, the room? Yeah, that's great. So we rolled out a member program last year. Um, uh, the two things that the members did so far this year is they've created working groups. We have um, ETL, ontologies, and a user interface working group. Um, those working groups will be presenting tomorrow. Um, so if you're interested in um, the work that, that they have um, begun to do, um, please join them. Um, the, work, the members also elected um, five open um, board seats. So that's a, another thing that the, um, the members uh, uh, contribute to the um, the foundation. We do um, open um, the membership up in the fall. So if you're a member, you can nominate other folks to become members. So keep that in mind. Um, and the other thing that we've done that I think is the, one of the most exciting um, areas is our project management committees. Those are the committees that uh, manage the platforms, um, ITB2, Transmart, and the ITB2 um, Transmart uh, PMC. So we've continued. Are, are people getting our um, uh, our releases for the, the various um, platforms? Yeah, installing them, easy to install. No. Um, things will get. Think we're we're working on making it easier for um, implementation and and um, software releases. Um, I also want to announce um, the I2B2 Transmart um, release. We now have a publicly our first publicly available uh, beta release of the uh, combined I2B2 Transmart, and Paul Abiak will uh, talk to you about that. And then our, our next um, meeting will be the um, fall European meeting, and we'll have a little commercial on that. John, are you, John, are you here? You're right there. So come up here, I'm just gonna... So today, um, today's a packed agenda. So we're gonna be um, talking uh, uh, with all of these folks. I'm very excited, because um, there's some fabulous speakers. Tomorrow, um, very important. Tomorrow will not be in this building. Tomorrow is going to be um, in the um, the Harvard Medical School area. There's a uh, Countway Library and also the TMEC building. So there's a for for those of you who are not um, familiar with, with the campus, there's a map that was on the registration table. Um, it's about a five seven minute walk from here. It's it's fairly close, except you, you can get lost if you don't know the area. So. Um, uh, these are the, the meetings that are going to be there. There will be a change in the time for the ETL um, session. Um, I think it's going to be probably 10 o'clock. We'll, we'll announce that, but there'll be a slight change in the ETL um, group. But we do have the working groups are going to present. Um, there's an ACT session that will be um, a, an all-day session from uh, 10 to 4 for people who are interested in, um, in ACT. Um, the I2B2 Transmart 18.1 working session. So this is a, a true working session. This is a drop-in session, and Paul will talk about that um, in more detail uh, and explain uh, what that's all about. Um, and then we added a, a data governance and data delivery um, uh, session as well, which I think will be really interested, interesting. So that is the day, and I am going to let John and Luke talk a minute about the European conference. Thank you, Diane. I'll, I'll just take a couple of minutes to announce the event in Europe. So that's the sixth edition of the I2B2 Transmart Academic User Meeting. It's going to take place in Geneva, end of October, beginning of November. So hurry up, registration closes on July 15th. So we're going to discuss a lot of interesting topics 
spanning from identity management in federated environments, management of information within I2B2 and Transmart, privacy and security, especially given the new general data protection regulation in Europe, is creating a lot of troubles. And then uh, <coughs> clinical outcomes, so uh, how user uses in Europe I2B2 and Transmart, and they and do these tools fulfill the, their expectations. So we're gonna have a lot of invited speakers. Some of them you I guess are familiar to you, but from US and, and from uh, from Europe. And but we're also seeking contribution from you guys. So uh, the call uh, the call for contributions is online. So you can submit an abstract and give a talk at the at the event. So don't hesitate. And then uh, last but not least, I wanted to say that if you are not motivated to come to Switzerland, we are organizing, not motivated enough, we are organizing a gala dinner on a crusade on a Belle Epoque boat. Um, so we wait for you there. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, let me tell you, um, I grew up in Switzerland. I still have a Swiss passport. When I was 17 years old, uh, 40 years ago, <laughs> my high school graduation night was on that boat. You're learning how to drink too much on a boat like that is something, it's gorgeous. It's unbelievable. You're going around, you see on the one side the Jura Mountains, on the other side, the French Alps. It's, it's unbelievable. I was born in one of those hospitals. Oops, that's not I'm not doing that. I'm going to be invited. <laughs> and you can, they have this um, open area where you can see these gleaming 19th century cylinders pumping away at the um, these wheels. So it's a great place. And I don't know if the people at University of Geneva will show you around, but some of the most pioneering stuff done in electronic health records that actually work and don't distract was done at University of Geneva, but, but I don't know if they've been overtaken by the usual uh, vendor suspects. 